Hi, nice to meet you. So good to meet you too. How exciting is it for to have your film as part of the New York Film Festival? Very exciting. Yeah, I couldn't want, I wouldn't like to. I couldn't be more excited. So great. Talk about you know working with Michelle Williams on this and what she brings to her role. She's a phenomenal talent, a phenomenal actress, and uh, I couldn't have hoped for any more for a director to have someone as beautiful and as talented as Michelle, who also works as hard as she works, is a, is a dream come true. Talk about the time period in which this film takes place and... Yeah, it's not a Marilyn Monroe biopic, it's a moment in time, it takes place, actually it's more than a week, it's the making of The Prince and the Showgirl in London in 1956, but the, the special surprise is the, the charmed week that Colin has with Marilyn during the making of the film. And talk about shooting in the same locations. We were very lucky to shoot in many of the locations the, the real story had taken place, notably Pinewood Studios and Parkside House, which is the house that Arthur Miller and Marilyn Monroe rented when they were in London, and we were able to shoot in, the, in that house. What do you hope people learn about Marilyn Monroe? That she, but beyond the sort of uh, cliche, I suppose, that she was a highly intelligent, complicated woman who was doing the best she could. Why is she still such an enduring figure? I think because her performances are wonderful. She was a great beauty. And I think that was the sort of Princess Diana effect that, you know, we lost her too young and that has sort of kept her in the consciousness in, a, in an odd way. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.